Maya chapter 13 verse 23 to 25 Nehemiah 13 In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod and Ammon and Moab and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews language but according to the language of each people and I contended with them, and cast them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for your sons. Wow. The first installment of the zeal of God. I mean the zeal of God. This man says he saw Jews that had married wives of Ashton. Ashdod was a heathen, heathen nation. Ashdod was the nation of the peoples. Ashdod, Ashdod, Ammon, Moab, all of them. They were peoples that never knew the living God. They never knew the true God. And it was God's commandment in those days not to marry from outside. But Nehemiah is coming back and when he got there, he saw Jews that had married wives of Ashdod. Even their children could not speak the Hebrew language. So he contended with them. You can say he wrestled with them. I mean, he, he wrestled with them. He cast them, he smote them, blocked off their hair. I mean, think about, think about this, brothers and sisters. He says, I contended with them. I smote some of them. The, mas- the message Bible, it says, I slept some of them. So he was really lighting up the slap in that place that day. He was slapping some of them. The Amplified says, I struck some of them. Wow. I pluck off their hair. Their hair. The Amplified says, I pulled out their hair. You know, smiting them, contending with them, plucking off their hair. That's um, a man standing up for God. You know? That's a man finding people that think that God doing that thing that God does not love, doing that thing that God has not commanded, and is standing up for God. Being zealous about God, it makes you stand up for God. He found grown-up Jews doing that thing which God did not command, and he contended with them. That's the zeal of God. I mean, when he left, they were doing the work of the Lord. When he left, they were going to the temple. When he left, they were marrying Hebrews, Hebrews, Hebrew women. When he came back, they were doing that thing that is not lawful. They were doing that thing that is wrong. And what did he do? He contended with them. He smote some of them. He slapped some of them. He plucked off their hair. And he was standing up for God. That is the zeal of God. Oh, when was the last time you walked when you walked in church and found the people not singing? The service has started and they're just sitting there. And you didn't contend with them until they Tell you in the spirit that what you are saying is true. When was the last time? Nehemiah, on the other hand, he, he, he found the Jews doing that thing that was wrong. And he contended with them. I mean, he contended with them. WWE smacked down. He wrestled with them. He contended with them. And, and pulled some of them by the head. Just how much, how, how much more zealous can you be about God? To pull people by the head because they are doing wrong. The zeal of God. Oh, we're only beginning. Brothers and sisters, I hope you become blessed. This is supposed to be on a similar level with the greater than Solomon's here. So my voice might sound similar. My energy might sound similar. And in the next, um, like I said, we're going to have some other few teachings there. We're just probably going to talk. I hope they be three minutes. I hope they be five minutes I hope it'll be four minutes but this one is gonna be like that we're just beginning let's cruise together in the realm of the spirit let's cruise together Nehemiah is zealous about God as a matter of fact uh, I just quoted for you verse 23 and 25 and um, if you just take a look if you just take a look at verse 26 um, that I didn't include. If you look at verse 26, it says, Did not Solomon, king of Israel, 
sin by this, these things. Yet among many nations was there no king quite like him, who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. So Nehemiah was zealous about this. No, even Solomon fell because of this. Therefore, I'm going to contend with you. I'm going to smite you. I'm going to pull you by the hair. The zeal of God. Let's begin. Let's.